Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Tuesday, April 19th. And we are gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our song for this morning is hymn number 362, At the Lamb's High Feast We Sing. And we will sing together verses 3 and 4. Where the paschal blood is poured, Death's their dread angel sheaths a sword. Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns a foe. Alleluia. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed. Paschal victim, paschal bread. With sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. Alleluia. Our quote for this morning comes from Emily Joy Allison. My vision for justice is one where the systems are blown wide open and new worlds can be built. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and then jumping ahead to verses 14 through 24. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, God's steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might, and has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our Old Testament reading comes from Judges chapter 5 verses 24 through 31. And this is the song of Deborah. Most blessed of women be Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite, of tent-dwelling women most blessed. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought him curds and a lordly bowl. She put her hand to the tent peg and her right hand to the workman's mallet. She struck the general Sisera a blow. She crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. He sank, he fell, he lay still at her feet. At her feet he sank, he fell. Where he sank, there he fell dead. Out of the window she peered. The mother of Sisera gazed through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the hoofbeats of his chariots? Her wisest ladies make answer. Indeed, she answers the question herself. Are they not finding and dividing the spoil? A girl or two for every man, spoil of dyed stuffs for Sisera, spoils of dyed stuffs embroidered, two pieces of dyed work embroidered for my neck as spoil. So perish all your enemies, O Lord, but may your friends be like the sun as it rises in its height. And the land had rest forty years. Our New Testament reading comes from Revelation chapter 12, verses 1 through 12. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs in the agony of giving birth. Then another portent appeared in heaven, a giant, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who was to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to God's throne. 
And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, so that there she can be nourished for 1,260 days. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of God's Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.